So a lot of J-pop fans are asking themselves, what just happened? Tons and tons of channels have been blocked. Tons of videos have been region blocked that have been not region blocked for years. AKB videos are gone. Hello Project videos are gone. Anything from Sony Music Entertainment Japan is gone. The only a few labels seem to have been unaffected, including Warner. So all the Warner videos are still up, but ton of missing videos are missing flowers videos are missing uh it's 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 all all of a sudden been region blocked playlists complete playlists have become unlisted complete channels have become unlisted including akb48 it's it's just it's very sudden and it's very unexpected and i was personally shocked to find that this had happened. I mean, we all know, J-pop fans all know that Japan has a lot of restrictions on their videos, on their musical content. Um, there are a lot of videos that are shortened to accommodate that. A lot of videos, music videos that are put out by companies are not the full length. Um, also, a lot of music videos put out by companies are region block. There, there are a lot of groups that have region block content um dish the um stardust group being one of them um their channel is re region block dice's vivo channel is region block their their stuff on universal and from avix isn't but their vivo channel is completely region block you can't even you can't even view their channel if you're um outside of the region but now it seems that all of the content that was previously unblocked, including, like I said before, all of the stuff from Hello Project, all of the stuff from AKB, it's just, it's gone. You can't, you can't view it on YouTube any longer if you are in a region that is blocked. The timing and the nature of this change kind of make me think that this might be the result of YouTube Red, which is YouTube's new paid subscription program that um, basically allows you to pay for an ad for experience with a few other um, benefits thrown in. But ESPN recently had to take all their videos off for some reason, content, copyright, things like that that didn't comply with YouTube Red's new um, terms of service. So basically what this tells me is that YouTube has changed. Um, hopefully not permanently, but maybe permanently. And in that change that is required for YouTube Red's function, it looks like Japanese music is being thrown under the bus. Um, I am pretty sure that, um, standards that they're using to take the music off of YouTube existed before YouTube Red did. I think that YouTube Red has just served to tighten those standards and reinforce the restrictions even further. Um, I'm sure that Sony Music Entertainment Japan had lots of restrictions in place way before YouTube Red was in place. Um, clearly, most other companies did. Um, Stardust did uh, with Dish, you can see that. Um, but some of their other artists were seemed to be unrestricted. So some some companies had non, their, their policies didn't really, you know, align perfectly. Some groups, they let have their videos out. Some groups, they didn't. Um, but now it seems that with YouTube Red in place, good per good percentage of Japanese music is going to go ahead and be blocked. And you can't 100% blame YouTube Red for this because if the companies didn't have these restrictions in the first place, um, then there would be nothing to enforce or to crack down on. 
And the reason why YouTube is doing this is because they want to make sure that their subscription service is consistent and that the correct content that's supposed to be available is available. Um, it's all kind of confusing. It's all kind of wishy-washy. But at the end of the day, if these, if Sony Music Entertainment Japan decided that they wanted their music and videos and all of their content to be viewed worldwide, then they could make it happen. Um, that's their personal choice. I'm pretty sure that they have their reasons for keeping it restricted to Japan. Um, so you can't really jump down YouTube's throat for this because it's not 100% their fault. It's not even sort of their fault. This was bound to happen considering the fact that Japan has these restrictions in place and YouTube is just putting down a firmer gateway to enforce them. So what do these restrictions even mean? Why are they there? Um, what do they imply? To me, as a Japanese music fan, they kind of give off the impression that Japan doesn't really want other countries to listen to their music. They don't really care if other countries listen to their music, and they don't they don't really have to care. I get it. I mean, they have the second biggest music industry in the world, second only to the U.S. So, you know, international fans are really nothing to their quota. But a lot of international fans do um, care a lot about their favorite artists. They pay a lot to have CDs shipped far distances. They pay a lot for promotional material. They, some, some even pay to fly to see their favorite artists. And this doesn't just affect J-pop fans only. It affects anime fans. Um, a lot of theme songs are going to be removed. It affects J-rock fans, Visual K fans. A lot of um, that content is going to be removed. I know the Gazette is under Sony Music Entertainment Japan, so all of their stuff is going to be gone. Um, even stuff that's not on their official channel will be gone. All videos containing any Japanese music content that is blocked or from a blocked company will be muted or removed. Um, so this isn't a small problem. It's, it's kind of a large problem when you think of everyone who's affected by it. So these restrictions, they, they meant something before, but they mean a lot now. I mean, before when you had a short music video, it was kind of annoying, but I mean, you could, you could live with it, but now there's nothing. There's nothing. There's, there's no shortened video. There's no teasers. There's no promotional material. There's not even like just the artist talking to the camera. If it's if it falls under the entertainment company's jurisdiction, then it's gone. Can't see it. Won't just won't be able to access it. So why do these restrictions exist in the first place? Um, there's many reasons why. It's never clearly explained because some companies do allow their music to be viewed worldwide. Warner Music Japan is one of them. Maybe I'm speaking a little bit too quickly about that. Maybe they're just right up next to have this happen to them, but I'm pretty sure that they don't have restrictions because they've never had shortened music videos. I'm pretty sure that they um, don't choose to restrict. Um, so I, I think it might be up to the company themselves to choose whether they want to restrict worldwide or not. I guess it's because um, it's easier to control copyrighted material that way. Um, some companies don't really comply with um, their standards for music distribution. Um, but Sony Music, Pony Cannon, Upfront, gr groups upon groups, AKB, Morning Musume, Chotoku, Memorial Clover Z, everything on Stardust Channel for them, gone. It's all gone. So um, there are other ways to view 
um, Japanese music videos is to stream Japanese music. And I'll put some of those in the description for people who don't know where to go now. Um, there's there's other places that you can go to, to view it, but YouTube was, was really good for that sort of thing because it was easy to discover new bands. It was easy to listen to music you hadn't before. It was easy to just put on a mix and um, hear a bunch of new artists. It was easy to follow your favorite artists through teasers and other things like that through updates, new music videos, all that kind of stuff. And now that just isn't really available to us anymore. Um, so um, we're going to have to get around this blockade. Hopefully it won't be a blockade forever, but I mean, I, I'm not really too optimistic about that. I don't, I, the companies don't have any motivation to change. We're not really that big of a, of a dent in their pocketbooks. Um, so hopefully YouTube will maybe dial back their restrictions. Um, maybe there'll be enough backlash from this to see some sort of rectification of the situation.